Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh. Well, that doesn't work, does it? Oh, let's just start this whole thing again. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So we do have an unboxing today, but please just let me explain what is going on here. Basically, as you know, I was having my time off of YouTube. Um, all the videos that you've been seeing were pre-recorded. Whereas this one, although would technically still be pre-recorded by the time you see it, it's actually only a couple of weeks beforehand. So far, I've got my filming table covered in enclosures where I've needed to be doing feeding. I've been sorting out this whole side of the room. There's an entire rubbish bag, which is what I tripped over when I pressed the record button on this camera. Well, everything is everywhere, but I got a surprise parcel come today, which is why I am recording this video and why I'm not in my usual setup. But please stay tuned because the reason I'm doing all this stuff is because we are going to slowly be moving into Bug Realms phase three. And it's the most exciting phase that we have ever had, even though we've only had phase two and the original. But it doesn't matter, this, this is gonna be exciting, right? But we're not gonna go into details on that today. Today is this special little box to unbox. Now, I don't know what's actually in here. I am gonna take a guess though. This has come from uh, Becky's Bugs and Grubs. If you've never heard of Becky's Bugs and Grubs, please search her up on Facebook or she has a website where you can buy animals from too. And me and Becky are good friends. We chat quite a lot. Um, and we have talked various things that I'm into and I know that she's got certain things that I want. And she basically sent me uh, a message saying that there'll be a pass arriving. She knew my days off, so she knew I'd be home. I do want to point out though, we had a bit of a Royal Mail fail. Um, this was sent next day delivery. She showed me proof that it was next day delivery, but it actually come a day afterwards. And luckily she did put a 40 hour heat pack in here, but we've got to be fingers crossed together. So everybody cross your fingers with me now that whatever is in here is alive. Now, before I open it, and I haven't lost my knife because it's now on a magnet that sticks to the side, ha ha ha. And while I just undo the tape on this, I am going to guess that there might be a little wolf spider in here. Now Becky um, did have a gravid wolf spider, had some babies, sold some on, and she kept a few. And I did say to her that I do plan on purchasing one sort of after Christmas time. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head the scientific name of this particular wolfie, but if that really is what's in this box, then I'll put it up on the screen so that you can look it up yourself. So, nearly finished doing the layer and then I will move the camera down. Okay. Let's have a look in this box together. Okay, excuse all the mess. As I said, we're sorting things out. Please, please do not judge me on that. Right. Well, there's the heat pack. Now, I've actually had to record this in the evening because I had my daughter today. This heat pack is now got a still a tiniest tiniest bit of warmth in it but as i said i've had to wait till evening okay okay what have we got in here that doesn't look like it would hold a wolfie that's now that's quite funny because this is a blended ice cup from mcdonald's um, and i always have a laugh about the fact that she always gets her blended ice drinks from mcdonald's uh, oh i know what these are Oh my God. Right, I will tell you in just a moment. Amazing, amazing. She knew I wanted these as well. And oh, there's a few tubs in here. Yes, we've got the little wolf spiders. So here we go, scientific name coming on the screen for you now. Has she given me two of these? There is two little pots. One of them I know is alive. We'll have to look in the other one together because I haven't spotted it in there. I think that is what is in here. Oh yes! 
this is so awesome. Now I'm popping this back up on my face a minute, sorry, again, I can't put the lighting this way as I normally would because of all the stuff on the floor. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you, Becky. Uh, I can't believe that you got me a few things here, in fact. So we've got our two, ah, oh, and it's, it's not even super, super dinky where you can't really make it out. I'm not sure where the other one is though. I'm gonna presume these are two of the same species of wolf spider from her sack. So we've got more in the collection. Maybe we've got a boy and girl there. That would be pretty cool, right? And in here, we actually have assassin bugs. Now I will need to double check her after this video, but I'm pretty certain they are with the scientific name on the screen. The, um, what was the common name for these now? I don't even remember. Horrid King Assassin Bugs, something like that. The giant spiny assassin bugs. Oh, you know what? It's been so long since I've had them that I can't actually remember their names. Give me two seconds. Yeah, that's right. So the P. Horrida, Pistala Horrida, um, uh, what was it commonly called? Horrid King Assassin Bug or Giant Spiny. So yeah, I did get that right. Now, if you recall or you watched my old channel, we used to have a colony of these that we called the Guild of Assassins. Now, the Guild of Assassins is something that we are going to be majorly starting back up in the new year. Um, I'm actually, I don't know how many's in here. We'll have a look together in a moment, but I'm actually going to be collecting up quite a few of these for something very, very special, but I do not want to kind of uh, go into details on that until we are getting to that moment of phase three, but just trust me on it, it's gonna be epic. So, I think I'm gonna freehand the camera down on these guys for a moment, and let's have a little look. Okay, so I've taken the little clip lid off. I don't know how many are in here, but there's definitely more than one. I've put them over this tub for now so that uh, if we get any escapees. Well, there's one. Oh, so that's two there. Or is it three? That's two there. Look at them go. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't even look here. One, two, three, four, five. So what's that, like seven there? Plus more in this cup. Look at that one. Wow. Thank you so much, there's more in there as well. Oh my goodness. This is a absolutely fantastic start to the rebuild of the Guild of Assassins. Let's see if I can get just in the light there. Look at them. So these are all young, young nymphs, but they're still of a decent size. <laughs> that one's like, hey, what am I missing out on there, guys? Nope, off I go again. Wow. Do you know what? There's got to be what, like between eight and ten in here. I want to, um, I want to actually count. Right, let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What, well, there's at least nine there now. I don't know how I missed some just now. 10. Eleven, I think. Oh, 12. Oh, you know what? I don't even know. But I want to rehouse these guys off the camera. And the reason I want to do that, folks, is because I don't want to give too much away for the plans for what's going to be happening with these. But they will be going into a temporary home. One that's still suitable for their size, but a temporary home nonetheless. Because the, the home for the future of these guys is going to be amazing really really amazing in fact but i can't give too much away i cannot i cannot i cannot so what i'm going to be doing then is popping this back in here and i will rehouse them again off the camera as i said let's just pop that like so did any get out 
know. That's a good thing about these guys is although they are inquisitive, they also tend to like to hide and huddle together, meaning I can simply just pop this lid back on. Oh, put the camera down, Sam. Okay, with the assassin bugs out of the way, let's have a look at our little wolfies. There is number one. There it is, adorable. Absolutely adorable. Now there are a few wolf spiders that hold the common name of dark wolf spider. I believe this might be one of them. Um, but it may not be the one that you typically see everywhere. They tend to be more brown, but they're so, that's so adorable. Oh, sorry dude. Now we know this one's safe, so let's open this one and try and see if this one is alive and well without losing it. So I'm going to pop this in here just in case. Can anyone else see it? Can anybody see it on the camera? Can't see. Oh no, it's right there. It's just climbed over the edge. Oh, it's even smaller. Oh, look at you. No wonder I couldn't spot you. You're dinky. Oh, that's adorable. Do you know what, guys? I don't actually know where I've put my macro lens in the middle of all this tidying. And I don't want to search with it with this little guy right on the edge. Oh, no. Right. Can we kind of coax it? Is it in? It's in, it's in, it's in. Lid? No, 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 no. Okay. Right, lid's on. Give me two seconds. And let me see if I can spot where this macro lens is. Okay, so I opened the pot, it ran straight out, and there it is. Look at that. I'm sorry for the quivering. Look at those beautiful patterns all over the legs, carapace and abdomen. Wow. So that one's the slightly smaller one. Let's have a look through the lid of the other. Let's see if I can focus. There we go. Slightly darker in appearance this one. Must be an age thing. Look at that. Beautiful. I think we'll rehouse these two little wolfies back in their original tubs for the moment, for tonight. Um, so you've got something to see being rehoused. And the assassin bugs that are down here are going to stay in here for the night and I will rehouse them first thing in the morning. I'm just going to keep them in a nice warm spot. Yes, that's so cool. I am so, so happy. I did not think that she'd give me that many in here. That is amazing. Okay, so all I've done is put a bit of soil-based substrate and a bit of moss in here. Now, when I find these guys a more permanent home, I will add a bit of corkback hide and obviously a water dish, but they're so tiny right now that this will suffice for the moment. We will just put droplets of water for them to drink. Now, this little guy is still right in that corner there. So this might be a little bit tricky. I don't actually have a paintbrush to hand, so I'm just trying to coax this little guy on a bit of tissue. And there we go, the tissue is in. And he is in. Now I know you didn't see much in that one, but uh, hopefully, you will be able to spot it in this one, as he's right here. All right, I need something to put this guy in a second. So this one is now in the sling pot. Take this out and we'll get this replaced. The same as the other one. Ta-da, just like so. 
So we'll get this one in and then hopefully we'll be able to take a better look at it if it doesn't just run straight out the top. So there he is, sat on top of the pipette. Won't focus very well. Should we try a macro while we're here? There. It's about the best I can get for you guys. It's not perfectly crystal clear. But you can make it out alright, yeah? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, let's get this macro off and get it back in. Okay, let's see if maybe we can coax it down with the lid here it go in it is in there it is look how well it camouflages as well from a distance you would not spot that easily wicked 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 so now we have three wolf spiders in the collection of two species and here is the logo for becky's bugs and grubs you can see it there so you know what to type in on google you know what logo to look out for or through facebook cool one this one's up on here two And five million sweet so there we have it guys I'm sorry it was kind of spare at a moment temporary housing jobby and you didn't get to see these guys being rehoused but as I said I am on my break from YouTube while I'm organizing everything but I just couldn't not film this for Becky for these gifts now I want you to be aware she did not ask me to produce a video she did not pester me to produce a video she didn't say I'm sending a parcel you record this for my company anything like that this was a gift of friendship but as a thank you to you Becky is why I decided to create this video and I am absolutely over the moon. You have truly outdone yourself and I actually feel a little bit guilty because there's some money to be made on these, especially with the amount of assassins you've given me here. So just a massive, massive thank you. And you know, guys, please go and check her out. It's only a very small business and small businesses need our love. So please go and check out her website and pick up anything you're after. So yes, make sure to stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for the announcement that will come for phase three to find out what's gonna happen with our new starter colony of the Guild of Assassins and hear exactly what happened to the old one as well, in case you are unaware. And we can also watch our wolf spider collection grow in the future too. Now also, there are gonna be more things. This Guild of Assassins thing, by the way, this is not the only major thing that will be coming that's super cool with phase three. There is more, there is more, and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. I really wanna tell you now, but I'm not gonna. So stay tuned everybody. Um, I'm not sure what date this is coming out, but it'll probably be mid to end December. So if Christmas hasn't gone yet, then Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you have a good one and I hope you have a fantastic new year too. If this comes out later than then I hope you already did have a good one. Whatever, I don't know, but I'm off now guys. Thanks for watching, take care, love you all, bye bye.